Shalom. Today we're going to be learning Hashkafa Satora, some Jewish philosophy. There's a halacha that we know that there are three cardinal sins that we give up our life before we violate. They are idolatry, murder, and sexual indiscretions. Well, sexual indiscretions usually is translated because we were kids, we didn't know what it meant, to adultery. And that seems to be stuck in our minds as the only category. But in fact, sexual indiscretions go so far as to discuss a case where, let's say, a man is infatuated with a woman to the point where he becomes mentally ill and he has put his life in danger and says, just if I could just see the woman, that would be enough to save my life. And doctors agree, we wouldn't allow him to even look at the woman. They say, come on, what's the big deal? He's just looking at her. She doesn't even have to know. We could put her across the street and have a camera. The answer is no. And philosophically, a person might question this, this law and say, what's the big deal? Why are we going to, to allow this man to die if he's just looking? And that's how important the laws of, of sexual purity and, and, and sexual refinement are in the Torah. There is no allowing a Jewish woman to be used for the sexual gratification of another man if it's outside the construct of a healthy marriage and relationship. That is the philosophy of the Torah. Sexual activity, sexual relationships have to be guarded and have to be channeled in the proper and appropriate ways. And that proper and appropriate way is marriage. Outside of that, it's just simply forbidden. That's the philosophy of the Torah. Shalom.